Okay, day three, challengers. Woohoo! You are doing great. I am so, so very proud of you. I truly, truly am. I know this is not a an easy or gentle journey, especially during the nutrition boot camp. I know it isn't. Um, you know, some of you don't know that back when I was in my 20s, I I've been I'm an overcomer of a chronic dual eating disorder. I mean, it was destroying my internal health. And so I know it's not easy when it comes to wanting to do better with our food, making food choices and all that stuff. Feel a little raggy here. Anyway, but congratulations. That's why I do these group forums. Um, I enjoy teaching a group. I enjoy educating, showing you how to do things. And I enjoy and appreciate community support um, encouraging one another and really cheering each other on. You know, life was not intended to live it alone. And so community is a big deal. So I'm glad that you're all here together helping each other. Now, in today's topic of our nutrition boot camp, no fat does not mean fat free. So, well, yeah, but there wasn't any fat or, um, yeah, but, or, fat free well yeah but it was fat free you know it said no fat you know you get my drift the thing is even when you buy fat free things or low fat things i'm a label label reader by a default but when you purchase those things flip it around look at the word ingredients and read all the stuff that they added into it so just because it says no fat or fat free or or light, it is not. You would be better off eating the real deal. Example, salad dressings. Maybe you're a Thousand Island dressing eater or French dressing or blue cheese, whatever the case. And well, yeah, but it's fat free or it's light. I buy the light. I used to do that also until I began really reading what goes into all of that. Because when I compare, I'll compare. People ask me, hey, you know, what's the difference between this and, the, and this and this? I'll go to the store and compare it so I can give them a valid answer and a true answer. I am even take a picture and show them here's why or here's what. I'll have people... Um, go to the grocery store and, and then text me, ask me questions. And I'll tell them, take a picture of the label. Let me see that, the nutrition facts and the ingredient. And that way, right there in texting, I can be educating them on if I give that item a thumbs up or a thumbs down, but I'll always tell you why. Why I might give it a thumbs down, I'll always tell you why I give it a thumbs up. That way it's teaching you. It's, it's showing you how. And so whether we're long-term um, working together or not, you'll have the tools and the resources to be doing this, you know, on your own and having sustainable results. So salad dressings, yogurt, things that fat-free or low-fat, um, no sugar added, no fat added, you know, whatever the case when it comes to salad dressings, you're better off having the full four. So say it's Thousand Island dressing, for example, and people might ask, well, do you buy the fat free or the light? I buy the, I just buy the regular. Once I compared both the regular to the fat free or the light or low fat is what I'm trying to think of. And I compared the label, the nutrition facts and the and the added ingredients. You are better off just having the Thousand Island dressing, I'm telling you, and stick to the serving. If a serving size is two tablespoons, that's what you get. No more, no less, you have two tablespoons. Well, you can have less, but you know what I mean. So anything like that, um, no fat or, f and it, I should word it, fat-free does not mean no fat. 
So fat free or light doesn't mean there's no fat in there. In fact, sometimes there's more. So if you look at the nutri nutrition facts, there might be more in there. And if it's not up in the nutrition fact label, it's going to be down in the ingredients. And then they packed it full of added fillers. That's what you don't want. So a rule of thumb is when it comes to fat free, no fat, um, low sugar, no sugar added, um, no sugar added just means they didn't add more. It doesn't mean it's sugar free. It just means they didn't add more. So frozen blueberries, frozen strawberries, frozen fruit, like my big bag of uh, blueberries in my, my freezer, the ingredients, blueberries, nothing else. If it says unsweet, it should say unsweetened blueberries or unsweetened strawberries. If it says no sugar added, don't buy those and say, well, it's sugar free. No, 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 no. When you flip that bag over and you read blueberries, there's going to be a whole lot of other stuff that's been added to it. They just didn't add more sugar. So the, the rule of thumb is the ingredient. It should say green beans, asparagus, broccoli, cauliflower, um, blueberries, strawberries, nothing else, nothing else. So that's a little side tip right there. But the fat free does not mean no fat. Um, if something says no fat, still look at the label. Um, and you need to, you need to get in the habit of doing that. And, and it will tell you right on there. Like I said, if you ever have questions, that's a great thing to, to add into our community. Take a picture of, of a label. Take a picture of that with the ingredients. Add it in there. Tag me in it. And I can educate you right there in our private community. What You'll be amazed at what you learn on the backs of labels. And it will be so obvious to you um, what to be looking for. So when it comes to salad dressings, sauces, um, condiments, whether it's, you know, ketchups or barbecue sauces or all that type of stuff, sauces, jams, jellies, um, anything that can have that label, fat-free, low-fat, light, L-I-T-E, um, you know, sugar-free, no sugar added, anything like that. You've got to weigh out the options. That's where, like I said, with salad dressings, with certain condiment, I'm not a huge condiment person, but when it comes to that stuff, you're better off with the Thousand Island dressing versus the fat-free or the low-fat. Now, um, something I was going to say, and it just kind of slipped my mind. Oh, okay. Here is a great tip for you, my personal best. Products from Bolt House, B-O-L-T-H-O-U-S-E. Bolt House is a great um, brand for dressings. You can use those as marinades. Drew's, I believe you find that in the, um, sec in the produce section and maybe the refrigerated part of the produce section. That's another great one. And the ingredients are amazing. I too will use some of those as marinades as also. When it comes to salad dressings, you can use those as a marinade on your meat, a marinade or a seasoning on your vegetables. Um, another one is Walden Farms. Walden Farms brands of food is um, absolutely the top. That's my, number one on my list. When you look at the ingredients, you're reading food. It's not full of anything. When you look at the label, it's sugar-free, fat-free, sodium-free, cholesterol-free. It's free of everything. Ingredients, you're reading food, spices. They have no additives in it. There's no fillers, nothing. So you have Bolt House, you have Drew's, 
And then my number one is Walden Farms. Again, don't hesitate to ask me to repeat those in the group um, if I haven't done that yet, because I will. I am a huge, huge fan of those, and I've used them for numerous things when it comes to my food and cooking. Um, another one is Bragg's Amino, um, and that you'll find in the... Some of this stuff, if you don't see it in, in the mix of in the aisles of the rest of the food, you have to look on the bottom shelf. The healthy stuff will be on the bottom shelf. So Bragg's Amino. If you like like a soy sauce type of a taste, um, I think is what that is, not really teriyaki, but like a soy sauce, that stuff is fantastic. So those are some um, little extra tidbits of things to think about, especially, you know, fat-free doesn't mean no fat, but you want taste and you want flavor. Those are the hidden secrets right there. So anyway, reach out in the group um, for any of this you want me to repeat or make a list of if I don't have it in there already. And oh, this is just getting me all excited. I wish I could do a shopping a grocery store shopping tour with all of you, but I'm happy to be here. I'm so glad you're doing this with me. And, you know, it's only day three, and I'm already excited for all of you of what you'll be learning, and most importantly, the results you'll be experiencing. So I'll talk to you soon.